Hello everyone, and today I'm gonna talk about some vintage plugs and sockets from Italy um, but before I do that I'm gonna briefly talk about what uh, types of plugs and sockets uh, we use over here so if you look at uh, this multi-way adapter thing it has an Italian type L plug and uh, some Italian type L sockets on them um, and uh, well if I take this type L plug uh, well it won't fit why is that well there are actually two types of type L uh, plugs and sockets there is the 10 amp one and there is also a 16 amp one so this multi-way adapter thing uh, actually has uh, two of the 10 amp ones, uh, though the, the sockets are recessed for some reason, which is kind of weird because not all plugs will fit in them. This one fits, um, but some larger ones don't. Um, and it also has spot for a 16 amp plug. So yeah, now uh, this is quite an old adapter actually. Um, so more modern adapters actually let you use uh, both uh, 16 amp and 10 amp plugs in the same type of sockets uh, here's an example of a 16 amp plug and it accepts both 10 amp uh, plugs as you can see it's not super easy to get them in um, because of the shutter mechanism uh, you need to have both pins in there at the same time and only then will actually let the pins of the plug make contact with socket so, so as you can see it won't go with just one pin and this also fits 16 amp stuff but another super common uh, plug we use over here is also this Shuko plug which is also very common in Europe and to use it with Italian sockets we use this type of adapter very simple but yeah anyways I'm not here to talk about new stuff because new stuff is boring well not really but uh, I'm here to talk about some older plugs and I have some sockets which I found uh, around the house so uh, the first one is this one here um, it's the oldest it's from the 50s it was connected to a tube radio and well Let's compare it with this more modern one. Uh, as you can see, the shape is completely different. And this is actually a problem because uh, sh uh, Shuko sockets, which are sometimes used he here, um, they support a 10 amp plugs just fine. And there are also versions that uh, uh, accept uh, 16 amp Italian plugs, but uh, it won't fit this type of plug here because of the earth pins for the shuko part so you can only use this plug here with the normal uh, Italian uh, sockets which is kinda uh, weird and a bit annoying but oh well so apart from the shape difference obviously the cord is supposed to come out of here well the main uh, uh, difference apart from the shape really is the lack of uh, sleeving so if you take oops, a socket um, I can actually uh, poke metal objects in there like a screwdriver and well with normal plugs that's not really possible because the, of the uh, sleeving but uh, with this plug well you can do that now um, if I actually take this screw off I can show you what's inside and it, well it's very simple but it's interesting to see the construction of uh, this old type of plug especially compared to this slightly newer one which I'll also take apart yeah it's different the new one has uh, the pins uh, that are removable I presume that's to make it easier to wire in 
Um, but yeah, this is the old 50s plug. Now let's take a look at something newer. Alright, so the next plug we'll take a look at is this 16 amp one, which is uh, newer than the other one. Comparing it with uh, this adapter, uh, you can see that, well, of course it doesn't have leaving, but also the earth pin is longer, and that's something that Italian plugs don't have, uh, a longer earth pin. Um, and the idea with the longer earth pin is supposed to be that when you plug it in, the earth will make contact first, and that's good, but it's not common at all. I've never seen an Italian plug that has this feature before this one, so I don't know what's up with that. It's pretty interesting. The plug itself has this weird bell shape. It has two indents for your fingers. I guess, well, it's very bulky, uh, especially compared to normal plugs, uh, as you saw with this adapter. Uh, it's yeah, it's very bulky, but I guess the idea maybe was that that way it was much harder to actually make contact with the pins since there was no sleeving. Just a guess. Um, so there are two screws, and that opens it. Uh, the plug is made out of a weird rubbery material. Uh, it's not super easy to bend, but. It's definitely not hard. It's a bit soft actually. So, opening it up, you can see that the outer covering it's actually quite flexible. Um, I'm not sure what this is made out of, but yeah, the the inner plastic material is definitely much harder. It uh, doesn't bend a lot, but that's also because it's much thicker, so that might just be it. Um, so, this is actually very interesting, the way it's constructed. So, the cord comes, obviously, from there, uh, and goes into this retaining mechanism, which is also where you find the uh, pin for the earth, if it was connected. In this case, it's not. So, this is very interesting, and then the two wires actually go here and so yeah these are the screws for live and neutral and the earth goes here it's very interesting I've never seen something with this retaining mechanism before but it seems to work very well uh, so it's pretty nice it's just a very bulky plug and I doubt it will fit in the more modern Shuko, uh, modified Shuko sockets that we use. So it's, you know, it's an interesting design, but definitely has some flaws, at least for modern day. Uh, though I would never use and plug this all for anything, really. It's just a showpiece. But yeah, let's take a look at uh, some other plugs. Alright, so this is uh, the next plug we'll take a look at, and uh, it's uh, another 16 amp plug. This one doesn't have an earth pin, but there is a hole for it, so maybe it was removable. As you can see, it's much slimmer than the other one. Uh, it's made by uh, Bitticino, it's, and it's made out of this hard plastic that doesn't bend uh, a lot, so that's interesting. Also, there are, of course, no sleeved pins, because it's too old for that. And the well, the strain relief on it is horrible. It's just you can can twist the cable around very easily. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, but yeah, uh, Bitticino, uh, which is the brand that made this plug, used to be very very common, and it's also very uh, f fairly common nowadays, though uh, not as common as uh, Vimer. But yeah, uh, so uh, to actually uh, connect the wires to this plug, it was initially wondering if there was maybe a screw in here, but no. Um, this is very cursed. To wire this plug-in, you need to twist the pins, like so. 
and then they come off like that this is very cursed it's also kind of weird uh, I don't know it seems too easy to take apart uh, but then again it's not a socket it's a plug so it shouldn't matter I guess so as you can see here uh, these are the pins they go in here like that uh, there is a hole for an earth pin but there isn't an earth pin there and the way this is wired in is horrible really uh, first of all there is non basically no strain relief as, as you can see the wire can just push through and the idea is supposed to be that uh, I guess maybe you could crimp this but uh, well, it's not crimped uh, at least in this example um, so the idea is supposed to be that you screw the pins like that and then eventually they make contact with the wire which is uh, in this sort of uh, almost an O shape I guess but it's really not all that great especially because yeah it's easy to do it this way um, when the cover the, this front cover thing is removed but what's, once it's in there it's very hard um, because the the wires in there like to move around so it's, it's very horrible and also it doesn't really make the wire doesn't really make a good contact with the pin in my opinion but yeah well it's like this uh, so now uh, we're gonna take a look at the, the cousin the socket version of you know this same style of design uh, so let's do that alright so uh, here are two uh, sockets in the same uh, style as that plug there they're again made by Ibicino and uh, in this case I have both uh, 10 amp and a 16 amp example I'm only gonna take a look at one of them because they're the same 10 amp one has a very nice uh, white beigey color uh, quite interesting um, and they're made again out of that very hard material now again I uh, like that plug I wasn't originally sure how you were supposed to take this apart because there are no visible screws but then I looked at the holes and I saw that there are some slots cut in them and this is incredibly cursed but to take this apart you take your screwdriver you shove it into the hole and then you just twist and yeah this is horrible it's it, well it's not horrible it's not a bad design but it's very cursed well at least with this one uh, you need to have a tool to unscrew this which is important because it's a socket so the plug at the other end should be live connected um, so it's not too bad but still not ideal so um, the actual pins can come out and uh, I haven't actually uh, showed in the video um, me plugging in a uh, plug into the socket but yeah uh, it works fairly well um, the plug I showed before uh, is actually very loose into any socket I've tried it on so I don't know what's up with that but yeah as you can see the there are the, the socket is made out of these tubular things here and the construction is very similar to the actual plug uh, I showed earlier there's this metal piece which makes contact again with this O shaped uh, well just the, the copper is just shaped like an O I guess you could probably crimp it and then it goes like that over here then it, there's a uh, plastic piece goes in here I guess it's supposed to keep the the wires from uh, moving like maybe and then the, the actual contact things uh, they screw in like so and yeah it's, it's very weird again there's the problem that the wires like to move around so it's very hard to actually um, wire this in and again there's no uh, protection against uh, strain relief 
you know, there's no strain relief in here, and that's not great, but... Yeah, um, and the other socket is the same, just, you know, 10 amp. So, uh, of course, back in the day, you could only plug in 10 amp uh, plugs into 10 amp sockets, and 16 amp plugs into 16 amp sockets. And nowadays, of course, as I showed earlier, the 16 amp sockets also accept 10 amp plugs. So, but back in the day, this distinction was made because uh, the 10 amp plugs ran at uh, 120 volt for lights, um, and the 16 amp ones ran at 220 volt for appliances because it was metered differently. So that was, you know, the idea. Alright, so as uh, hopefully you saw from the footage, I had a lot of problems with reassembling this socket. I actually gave up, and um, also one of the uh, contacts uh, fell down my desk, so that's great. Um, reassembling the actual plug wasn't all that bad, but yes, yeah, still not ideal. So, what's the situation nowadays? Well, you do use uh, the 10 amp plugs. And sockets a lot. We also use UL plugs for a lot of things, not everything, but like uh, the phone chargers and you know, the desk lamps, things like that. They all use UL plug because it makes sense, they can be used anywhere in Europe, or more or less, so it makes sense. The 16 amp plugs are almost fading away they're used for like extension cords and uh, purse strips stuff like that but for actual devices you know appliances yeah n not so much we tend to use shuko plugs uh, for things like that this is actually you know an, an ac normal power cord and it uses a shuko plug uh, however most houses don't have uh, shuko sockets uh, so people need to use adapters like this and yeah it's not ideal uh, especially because these adapters uh, aren't really supposed to be used for space heaters but well it's the only option I guess unless you change the actual socket which isn't great now modern houses do actually come with actual uh, chuka sockets I'm gonna put a picture here uh, to give you an example and also um, a lot of power strips nowadays have shuko sockets too uh, we use modified shuko sockets that accept uh, the italian plugs um, so as you saw here this has uh, ho the hole for the earth pin the ones you generally see aren't those there are even more modified versions which also accept 16 amp plugs so yeah now uh, my camera is uh, running out of battery so uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and well, if you like the this sort of stuff uh, you should uh, probably subscribe i don't make a lot of videos but well i, I try my best i guess <laughs> and yeah uh, also check out my website where i have much more information on the history of italian electrics because it's kind of fascinating but yeah, uh, see you in the next time, bye!